Welcome to May's Log Life. I'm May, and this is my first impression video of the Lyft Classic VL RFID wallet. Um, it's my first impression, kind of. Uh, I did know that this was released on Lug Live a while ago, um, but I don't watch Lug Live shows, and I don't really get to see because everything is like so small. You can't really, really see very well, uh, and it's always up against something darker, so you don't get a really good sense of. You don't really get to see it. Um, and also, like I said, I just don't watch. So uh, I don't actually, I haven't really seen how this really works. So I'm kind of excited to look at this because it looks very cool. Uh, so before I go on, I just want to say this is not a review. This is just me looking at this product for the very first time, or I guess now it's the, I don't know, second time, um, for the first time with you guys. So this is like my, uh, this is the, the equivalent of me going lug shopping with my lug friends and seeing brand new products at the store and checking out the new features and the new colors for the very first time together so it's supposed to just be fun and lighthearted. this is not a review if I do have a review which I have done I've definitely done reviews uh, on my lugs um, you'll see the word review in the title uh, and that's when I actually own the product uh, have used it have rocked around with it and I can give you a very honest review because I have used it this one I haven't I'm just looking at it for the first time and just admiring uh, the same way the rest of us do because we're all seeing the lugs for the very first time uh, on the website so it's just sort of me analyzing whether it's gonna be something I want and let's just admiring the new features and the new colors so there we go um, okay so already I know they're missing some colors so this is the first time I think that they've put this on the lug website so they came out on Lug Live, I don't even know when now, uh, probably like a month ago now. Um, and I never got around to it because it wasn't really very cheap. I think it was like $30 US, which makes it insane for Canadian. Um, as it turns out, it's $44 Canadian, which is ludicrous for me. Um, I know of those people who like collect coach bags and stuff like this is nothing. Like, you know, easily you can spend like 60, 70, 80, 100 dollars for like a tiny little like card carrier. Uh, but that's not me. Um, so yeah, and considering, yeah, they could probably only hold, looks like three cards. Yeah. Um, okay. So they're missing some colors, which I'm a little sad about because I really wanted the wine. So all I know is that it came with a few other colors and I was like, okay, I'll have to wait for those to go on sale and it hasn't. So, uh, but it is the, uh, the classic VL, which is interesting. Um, I do like the classic VL. It is really, really nice and soft. I haven't really had a good experience, a, a chance to experience the matte Lux yet, but I do really, really like the original. So, um, I kind of want these, but I'm still waiting for a really good sale. So let's look at the colors. So what's left here, um, is the olive green. And I don't know, can you see the interiors? I think you can, right? Wait a minute. There. Okay, so you can see a little bit right there, which is great because that's the wildflower uh, olive, which I love. Um, so that's really cute. I think I may have to get that one day. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, black. And again, let's look at the interior. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, hang on. There we go. Okay, so that's the contemporary fern. And then this is the sand. Oh, that's the pearl. I always get pearl and sand mixed up. Okay, pearl. And that also has to be the fern, but it's the navy one. That's really pretty. I may have to get them all. <laughs> okay, sand. Uh, and then that's got to also be, yeah, I was going to say, that's got to be the uh, the camo. And then I know we're missing wine. And was there like a navy? <laughs> Because those are my two favorite colors, and I'm sad. Um, so I may have to get the black and the olive if there's ever a sale. I'm I'm sad that I've I've missed out some on some of the other colors. So let's just read what it says. So it says, store your money and cards in a snap. The Lift VL looks small, and you aren't wrong. But the rear zipper pocket, oh, it has a rear zipper pocket. Um, an accordion fold out maximize every square inch. Uh, it also comes with whole wallet RFID. That's great protection uh, around for, sorry, for protection around town or while traveling. Um, hmm. Okay. That's really, really, really cool to know that the whole thing is, I guess it always should be. Um, cause, but I'm just thinking like the little metros weren't, but I guess they've designed these specifically for cards. They know that they have to. So I'm really glad they did that. Uh, and it was, we bring it all together with a classy snap clasp. Okay. Uh, let's look at the measurements and then I forgot I haven't actually looked at the product. So four and a half inches wide. So it probably is about the same size as the Metro. Um, and then, yeah, about that. And then three inches high, which is, yeah, pretty much Metro size. And then 0.25 inches deep. So a Metro without a zipper, right? 
um, and vegan leather. So, okay, let's look at the actual, oh, let's, let's look features. So features is rear zipper pocket with accordion fold out, card holder, snap clasp, uh, la, 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 includes a dust bag. <laughs> How big is this dust bag? <laughs> like it's teeny. And then vegan leather approved and three card holders, RFID in the whole, on the whole wallet. Okay, so let's look at this. So, okay, it's called the lift, I'm assuming, is because it probably starts out down here and then the card slots lift up, correct? Am I right? Um, and I, I wanna know how you lift that. Like, so there's the snap. Do I open the snap and then pull the, like the strap up and that's how the cards come out? If anyone has this, can you let me know? Um, like if I were, if I were lug, I would design it so that like I open the snap and then I lift the snap and then the snap is attached to the little card like sort of accordion and then the whole thing would go up like this and then that's how I can see my cards. I'm hoping that this is not just a snap and then I have to actually grab onto the little little insert and pull up. I'm really hoping that that's actually attached to the flap, but I could be wrong. Um, anyway, uh, I would like to know how many cards I can stick in this, like how many actually fit. Like can I put like two in each slot, three in each slot before I can't like put that little snap back on. Um, okay, let's look at the back. Oh, it's so cute. Where's the back? There it is. Okay. Uh, and so the back is a little gusset. So I guess you can put your change in the back, which is great. Like your three cards and a tiny little bit of cash if you want to carry that. I think, oh, hang on. There's another photo here. I think I have a use for that because oftentimes when I carry a coupe, sometimes I just want to carry like two cards. Uh, so what I did a long time ago was I bought these tiny little paper RFID protection, like little, little sort of envelopes. So I just put like my one card into it or like my, my one debit, my one credit card, and then like maybe my ID. And then it just goes into the little zipper pocket, like in the little privacy zip pocket. I don't trust the little clear view uh, card slot. I always feel like things are going to fly out of that. So I always put my cards and my cash in the little privacy zip pocket. Um, so if I don't want to carry like a wallet wallet, uh, and I really just need all the space in there possible, and I just want to carry the bare minimum cards, um, I use my Metro. But the Metro is, like, yeah, like, you have to unzip it, and, like, I kind of like that this is, like, just, like, you get the little cards, and then the change is in a separate pocket. Because the one thing about the Metro is um, the one main zipper pocket has everything. So when you open that one thing, the change comes out, uh, whether you want it to or not, or the cash comes out when you pull your cards out. And I kind of hate that. So um, the fact that this has a section for the cards and another section where you want to put your cash, that's really, really great. So um, yeah, I would like them to come out with this in regular fabrication. Um, I think this is a really cute design. I think that they should make this in a whole bunch of other colors and make this in different. <gasps> there was a blue. Oh, there was a blue and I missed it. There was a navy. Oh my gosh, I want it. Okay, uh, very sad. <laughs> I am crying on the inside. So there was a navy and I was pretty positive there was a wine. No, was there not a wine? No, it's not saying. Um, I thought there was a wine. Okay, so anyways, um, yeah, I would like to see this in regular fabrication. I would like to see this in the matte lux. So, I don't know, did this not do well? How, is, has, have people bought this? Um, I want to know. So if you have this, please let me know. Uh, no, there's no video. Okay, I was really hoping there would be. Um, okay, so if you have one of these, let us know and tell us what you think. Um, how many cards can you actually put in there before it gets too fat? Um, can it get too fat? Like, can you put stuff in to the point that you can't close the snap? How hard the snap is it? Like, like how, how easy it is, is it to open the snap? I'd love to know these things. I mean, I trust Lug in their snaps so far. Like, I have a tram and things like that. And those snaps have never come off um, unless I really force it. But, um, you know, I would just like to know. So, anyways, if you have this, like I said, tell us what you think. Tell me what colors you got. Um, and tell me how it functions. Like, really, really how does it function? Um, and I also want to know, because, like, you can see it. So, like, the cards are bulging here. Have you noticed that there's like any chipping of the vegan leather? I'd like to know that too. Those three colors look so good together right there. Um, so anyway, that's it. That's the video. Um, yeah, it's kind of more my second impression because I didn't know they existed. Um, but I really haven't had a chance to look at it. So it's like 1.5, one and a half impressions. I don't know. Okay, there we go. That's it. Thanks so much for watching. Take care and I'll see you next time.